Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into a very important topic which is environmental health sciences. This field is crucial for understanding how our surroundings affect our health and well-being. Let's explore together. Environmental health sciences is all about studying the interactions between our environment and human health. It focuses on how factors like air quality, water quality, and even our communities influence our physical and mental well-being. Let's look at the key areas of study. The key areas of study are air quality, water quality, waste management, food safety, as well as epidemiology. There are several key factors that environmental health scientists focus on and we're going to dive into them individually. Scientists study pollution in the air such as smoke, dust and chemicals. Poor air quality can lead to serious health problems including asthma, allergies and even heart disease. For example, did you know that cities with heavy traffic often report higher rates of respiratory issues? Yeah. Water quality. Clean water is vital for our health. Environmental health scientists test for harmful bacteria and chemicals in drinking water to ensure it is safe for consumption. Contaminated water can lead to diseases such as cholera and dysentery, which can be especially dangerous in communities where there is no proper sanitation. This area examines how food is grown, processed, and packed or stored. Scientists work to prevent foodborne illnesses such as bacteria like E. coli and salmonella. Understanding the journey of food from farm to table helps us ensure what we eat is safe. Proper disposal of waste is crucial for public health. Environmental health scientists work on reducing waste, promoting recycling, and managing landfills to prevent soil and water contamination. Environmental health scientists work on reducing waste, promoting recycling, and managing landfills to prevent soil and water contamination. A clean environment contributes to a healthier community. Now let's talk about epidemiology. This is the study of how diseases spread and affect the population. Environmental epidemiologists look at how environmental factors contribute to the health issues. For example, they might study the impact of our pollution on the rates of asthma in different communities. By analyzing data, they can determine which factors put people at risk and help develop strategies to develop public health. So what does this matter? The quality of our environment can significantly influence our health. In areas with high pollution levels, studies show an increase in respiratory issues and cardiovascular diseases. Efforts to reduce emission from vehicles and factories can make a real difference. As for water contamination, access to clean water is vital for preventing diseases. When communities face water contamination, it can lead to outbreaks of illnesses. Programs aimed at improving water infrastructure can save lives. Foodborne illnesses. When food safety regulations are enforced, we see a decrease of foodborne illnesses. Public awareness campaigns about proper food handling can also help keep people healthy. Epidemiological studies. By identifying links between environmental factors and diseases, epidemiologists can inform public health policies. For example, if a study finds that neighborhoods near industrial sites have higher rates of respiratory illnesses, policymakers can take action to reduce pollution in those areas. Now, let's move on to the good part. If you're interested in this field, there are many career options. You can become an environmental health scientist, an epidemiologist, a public health official, or even work in environmental policy amongst many other careers. Each role plays a crucial part in creating healthier communities. So that's a deeper look into environmental health sciences. It's all about making sure our environment is safe and healthy for everyone. If you found this topic interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. What questions do you have or what topics do you want to learn about next? You know what to do? Subscribe. See you next time.